when people see me now, they're sort of shocked because I know I don't look like the typical welfare mom, you know, but it was a long road. It was a long and hard road. This is building right now. There are different levels of poverty, but where I was at was not always having enough food and having to decide whether I was going to feed my kids or myself, and I would, of course, always feed my kids first. I literally maybe would have $20 to spend for the whole week. Cloth diapers were the only option. I mean, I, I couldn't afford Pampers. I would hang the diapers on the line, and I would imagine each diaper as I was hanging it as a blank piece of paper, and I would think about what I was going to write on that piece of paper. I decided I needed to do something to get out of this hole that I was in, so I thought, well, okay, I can write. I can make money as a writer, which is completely stupid because no one ever makes money when they first start out as a writer. And I asked my neighbor if I could borrow a typewriter, and I just put it on my floor. I didn't have a desk, and I started writing. Each word can be the difference between me and the wolf at the door. And that was the beginning of my career. It was like I had the magic key to make something of myself. I'll always have a story to tell. Some of my books feature heroines who are down and out and they have to struggle against tremendous odds. See, that's what I love to do take elements from my life and throw them into a pot and stir the pot and see what happens.